What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy Arda Kicks It Just Like That. We back with another one. All right, y'all. So, we got a video here today. This is 11 people who wanted to be superheroes and failed. <laughs> I bet they all failed because superheroes aren't real. <laughs> Unless nurses, you know, folks think nurses and doctors, they consider those to be superheroes. I think, I think they're just doing their job, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, boys, you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Hello, everyone. We've all probably drink. This dude think he's Mr. Incredible. He's incredibly not. Dreamed of becoming a superhero, at least for one day. Fly in an Iron Man suit, lift Thor's hammer, or just relax for a day at the Batman estate. Just imagine how many good things you could have done during this time. However, you can change the world for the better without superpowers, although this still requires a lot of responsibility and hard work. People from today's video decided to make comic books a reality, but at some point, something went wrong. Let's find out whether you can become a world-famous hero without Superman powers. Let's get it on. Night Warrior you don't need to have Captain America's strength to fight crime and maintain order. Of course, you risk losing the fight to street hooligans, but this doesn't stop the true heroes. Meet Roger Hayhurst, an ordinary gu- Wait, was that? Look what it is. That's crazy. Hayhurst, an ordinary gardener from the suburbs of Manchester who lives with his mother. But when night falls, he turns into a night warrior. Perhaps See, I'm not surprised he lives with his mother if he's out doing stuff like this. Perhaps he doesn't look like a superhero, but the most important thing is, as you know, is to believe in yourself. He patrols the streets of the city every day in his suit, breaks up fights and prevents crime. Of course, when it gets to- Bro, all it takes is one punch and he is out. Jesus, all you gotta do is flick him in his arm and he gonna go flying. You see, you see this little danky, the little, little lanky, little, I can't even say the word right, this little lanky man. Dangerous, Night Warrior <laughs> prefers to just call the police. But who says that real heroes can't do that? Roger began patrolling the streets in 2011 when he was only 19 and he did it every day from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Inspired. This man is out here for a couple of hours, think he doing something. This man is out here for three hours. All they got to do is wait for him to go home. Then they're going to commit their crime, bro. <laughs> From 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. He's like, eh, I'm getting tired. I think that's all the crime fighting I can do for one night. <sighs> yep, time to go home. Back to mommies. By superhero movies, he suddenly realized that he could help people, even without unique skills. He constantly breaks up fights, stopped thefts several times, and regularly helps those in need. The Night Warrior has inspired many of Manchester's teenagers to take to the streets and follow him. In 2012, oh, Roger dear. even met the Night Maiden, who became his constant partner and... Somebody stop them before they get hurt. Somebody please stop them before they get hurt. They watched too much of that one superhero movie. I can't remember the name of it. You know, with the kid from Superbad? Wrong kid. Girlfriend. Unfortunately, the brave guardian of order retired in 2013. This happened after one incident when the hero and his partner were beaten by local hooligans. Roger... Exactly. They got the ad whoop and they retired. Look at them. They don't look like they can fight a nap. They can't fight sleepiness, man. He goes in after 2 a.m. How you is how, do you really expect for these fools to be able to fight some real crime? realized that he'd become too popular and patrolling the streets of Manchester was just too dangerous for him. After this, you'll probably agree that in real life, superheroes are a little different from what we imagine them to be. Man. Here, for example, is a... They... Ooh. Oh, I'm done. 
photo of Superman that could exist in our reality. After all, no one promised that he'd be a tall, handsome man with huge muscles. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That's gonna be my thumbnail! Even in a world without telepathy, superpower... This movie, this the movie I was thinking about. ...as all healing factors, a real hero must be able to fend for himself. You don't have to carry a weapon with you, but you need to be able to fight back the bad guys using your fists. Our next hero is definitely up to the challenge. Phoenix Jones is famous throughout Seattle, not only for his cool suit, but also for his social activism. He put on a mask and started helping people in 2011, when a good friend of his was beaten in a bar. About 70 people saw it, but none of them helped the poor guy, even the police. After that, Jones decided that he would become justice in the city. He gathered several comic book fans, and together, they began patrolling dangerous areas of Seattle at night. In most cases, the squad simply called the police, but sometimes Jones had to intervene. He prevented car thefts, broke up fights, and scared robbers away several times. His appearance helps him too. In addition to superheroing, Jones practices mixed martial arts and looks, frankly speaking, quite formidable. Admit it, you definitely wouldn't want to commit any theft in front of this guy. For his fearlessness and cool black suit, the locals nicknamed him Black Panther. For nine years, a group of volunteer superheroes fed the homeless, searched for missing people, and actively helped Seattle residents. Unfortunately, the reputation of Phoenix Jones was not so impeccable. In early 2020, he was accused of possession of prohibited substances. It seems that sometimes even real superheroes go to the dark side. Speaking of superhero... Yeah, just like the just like the cartels, they a lot of them was on the dark side too. But anyway, I heard of that dude. I've seen his stuff before. Teams, how'd you like this version of the Avengers? They may not stop Thanos, but they'll certainly Horrible. make a stir look at in them. the cosplay competition. They look hideous. Purple rain. Purple rain, baby. Women may too become superheroes in real life, and they don't even have to fight criminals. A good example is Purple Rain, What's a girlfriend do? of Phoenix Jones. Together, they were part of a Seattle vigilante team called Rain City. Purple Rain specializes in fighting domestic violence. She helps girls learn to stand up for themselves and avoid similar situations in the future. Originally, our heroine was not going to patrol the streets, but after meeting Phoenix, she decided to join his team. During periods of increased criminal activity, the guys take to the streets of Seattle fully armed. They have gas canisters, stun guns, batons, and even body armor. Apparently, they decided to choose Batman's approach and compensate for the lack of superpower with various gadgets. But do not underestimate them. The heroes really save people from mortal danger several times. Unlike Phoenix, Purple Rain is still fu- You know what's funny? I know exactly what her face looks like. The mask isn't doing a great job to conceal who she is. She showed one mask, we can see her entire bottom half. Then the other mask, we only can see her eyes. Put the two together, you've got her face. Fighting domestic violence and crime on the streets of the city. She cooperates with several foundations and non-profit organizations, helps to raise money, and launches campaigns. The real name of this girl, her background and origin are still unknown, but her contribution to the well-being of Seattle is invaluable. Perhaps in the future, such heroes will receive real recognition in society and be able to run for high government posts. Of course, Wonder Woman was, and still is, the main inspiration for such characters. But who said that only girls can be inspired by this image? This man is also quite suitable for the role of a superhero, albeit in his own style. Super Vaclav. A man of about 40 years of age in a red sweater, blue tight pants, and a strange white helmet. Apparently, this is what the Superman we deserve looks like. Meet Super Vaclav. A superhero from the Czech Republic who was active in. This man over here standing like he's trying to take a sideways dump. He got a, he got a cup on, bro. This man got a jock strap on the outside, dog. Look at these legs. 
He can't even run fast enough in these boots. You think I'm going to take him serious? I'm going to look at this man and laugh. A superhero from the Czech Republic who was active in 2011 to 2012. The arch nemesis of Super Vaclav were dog owners who didn't clean up after their pets. People who smoked in public places. Oh, I wish a mother... Oh, heck nah. This man in his little ghetto costume picked up dog poop and rubbed it on the back of this dude's back. I wish... Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I can't believe this mess. I can't believe this mess. That wasn't even from my dog. And City Vandals. The superhero filmed all of his feats on a camera that was attached to his helmet. The people of Prague, where this fighter for justice worked, appreciated his sudden raids. He rarely helped the city get rid of many offenders who became afraid of Super Vaclav's wrath. Some considered his methods too aggressive, although he promised he would be more restrained in the future. The real name of the hero is still a mystery, though. Vaclav detained several graffiti artists, took revenge on dog owners, threw buckets of water on smokers and once even tried to block traffic on the Prague highway according to the what kind of superhero runs away from regular civilians you know throw water on folks and then run away as fast as he could to save his life because he knew he was he just had an a whooping coming his way The hero he did this to draw the attention of citizens to I, I have it i have yet to come across a a freaking vigilante superhero in real life that wasn't a joke urban problems and of course to have some fun Unfortunately, after 2012, not a single video featuring Vaclav could be found. Internet experts suggested that all the videos were staged, and the superhero was nothing more than a viral advertisement for a Czech search service. Whatever the case, this vigilante has certainly inspired many Czech citizens to change their way of life. We believe these guys should have been acting as sidekicks for Super Vaclav. They match his style perfectly, and are even somewhat similar to him. There's always a chance that it's Vaclav himself. I bet this dude can't run. He's supposed to be the Flash. He done drew on a freaking six pack with a Sharpie. I bet you he can't run. Why is why is your stomach even showing in the first place? Like, is this costume that small? Elf, who decided to try a new style. Captain Mangano. Take a second to appreciate how brutal and stylish this man on the bike looks. Man, are you telling me this day go This shield with this freaking cloth over it is supposed to stop something? That junk ain't made of nothing. He can be admired for his suit alone. This street superhero calls himself Captain Mangano, and he seems to be one of the most prepared vigilantes. As the hero says, he used to work in the Buenos Aires police, but his license was taken away due to staff changes. The Oops, that means he wasn't good enough at his job. Look at that helmet, man. It look, don't look like it's made out of paper mache. This, this freaking shield, too. This is a paper shield, man. Incident seemed to him so unfair that he decided to help the citizens in his own way. He chose to don the superhero costume for a reason. That's a, as that was aluminum foil. Gano puts it, if he offered help to people in ordinary clothes, they'd turn away from him or mistake him for a madman. The Duh, because he is crazy main goal of the hero to maintain order on the streets when this cousin of captain america is patrol patrolling the area you somehow don't want to start any trouble mangano enjoys playing with kids taking pictures removing garbage helping the elderly and those in need the motorcycle allows him to keep up with a criminal during a chase although this has not actually happened yet we think that no one would argue if we say that a superhero on a bike looks a hundred times cooler mangano doesn't say what his shield is made of but insists that it's not an ordinary one and in an emergency situation it can withstand several gunshots the ex-policeman he is lying no it can't himself being a trained security officer with many years of experience can single-handedly neutralize two to three criminals but we hope that if suddenly the enemies Cap. of captain america appear on our planet they will not start hunting for his argentine counterpart 
Captain America is one of the most popular characters among cosplayers, especially among men. Here, for example, is an older version of the state's defender. The you know what? I'll give the Argentinian man, I guess he was Argentinian, I'll give him credit for being the light in a lot of people's lives. I'm pretty sure they see him, their attitude, their mood changes. People are happy to see him. He's like a, a neighborhood celebrity. The thing that irritates me is the danger that he is actually putting himself in. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. The nickname Captain Alaska suits him better. Paya Tunito. Have you ever seen a real superhero who's able to move cars? Yo, I remember I wanted to see this movie for so long. It took me forever to see it. And then when I watched it, I was like, yo. Ah, what was that? I was like, yo. These idiots use their power for evil. If not, then take a look at Pia Tonito, an activist who fights for the safety of pedestrians on the streets of Mexico City. Of all of the superheroes in our video for today, he is the only one who's regularly appeared on cameras since 2013. Jorge Cañas, the Mexican political scientist and urbanist, hides under the painted mask of a wrestler. He participated in actions even before putting on the suit, but failed to make the proper impression. According to Jorge, when he created an alter ego, people began to listen to him and change their behavior on the spot. This is a big achievement for Mexico City, a city- See, this is what I was saying about the Argentinian dude. I'm like, that's the good aspect of what it is that these guys do. And I can praise that, but if there's some true crime or some serious stuff going down, you might want to let the police take care of it. I'm just saying, you ain't going to be able to bring this joy and brightness to the city if something happens to you. With a very high crime rate and many ill-mannered drivers, sometimes Jorge moves scooters parked in the wrong place with his own hands, stops cars, and gets into heated arguments with the drivers. An unusual costume, which is more alarming than frightening for the violators, doesn't prevent Pia Sonito from doing what he does. On the contrary, seeing this hero on the streets of Mexico City, residents feel his support and are motivated to go for walks. Jorge loves what he's doing and believes that during the patrol, he manages to save at least a couple of lives. It seems that such a guardian of order should be on duty at every intersection of a modern city. Let him monitor traffic and catch especially reckless drivers. So this is Pea Tinito. And before moving on to the next video, take a look at these images. Seems like these are secret concepts of Marvel and DC characters for movies with a limited budget. It's unclear if this Batman will be able Batman. to beat up the criminals, but the suit definitely looks good on him. Black Widow. Remember the Black Widow from the MCU, played by Scarlett Johansson? Oh, Seems yeah. that now she has a competitor. This guy also calls himself the Black Widow, and he maintains order on the streets of Norfolk in the USA. He refuses to reveal his real name, but claims that his pseudonym is Matsuda Yuma. The Black Widow appeared on the streets of the city out of nowhere, and his purpose remains unclear to this day. It's not- You know what's funny? Actual trained fighters. Rather it be mixed martial arts, karate, jujitsu, whatever it may be, you don't see them doing stuff like this. Because they know the dangers. They know the dangers of what they can conflict on people, and they know the dangers of what other people can conflict on them. All these folks look awkward, man. They don't look like they really know what they're doing. It's, they give... Superheroes are bad wreck. That's not the word I was looking for. Know why he chose such an alias? Because his clothes are similar to the famous Spider-Man costume. He patrols the streets of Norfolk, takes pictures for children, passes by, and shakes hands with everyone. Matsuda says that he once saved a woman from being beaten, though it happened by accident. He's not concerned for his safety either, as he studied karate and other martial arts. He carries a pepper spray and a multi-tool, although he's never used them in his life. It is quite possible that the guy just likes to walk around in a suit 
shoots in public and attract the attention of people. Matsuda admits that he hasn't yet understood why he's doing this. The only socially important event with his participation is a photo on a billboard where he urges children to follow the rules while driving bicycles. Though even this billboard did not last long, as its owner didn't pay the rent. Let's hope that in the future, the Black Widow will figure out what to do with his life and really start helping people. However, his closest competitors have also seen better days. Look at Spider-Man and Venom. It wouldn't hurt these guys to go to the gym from time to time. Otherwise, they could forget about saving the world. Jari Mintula some Marvel characters are really weird. Take, for example, The Thing from Fantastic Four. Seems like his body was simply covered with stones, though in fact his skin has changed under the influence of cosmic radiation and acquired the properties of a stone. This character is impenetrable to bullets and can lift heavy objects. Like many people, we were sure that this could only happen in the movies until we saw a photo of this bodybuilder. Just look at the skin on his head. Is he also turning into a super strong thing? In fact, this is just a training session of the famous bodybuilder from Finland, Jari Mentula. Apparently, the athlete is trying so hard that even the muscles on his head began to strain. This unusual feature made him quite famous on the internet, and comic book fans compare him to The Thing and The Hulk. Jerry calls himself The Bull, and actively promotes this nickname in the industry. Jerry really looks like a man with super strength, just look at his gym achievements. But of course, he's still far from being a real superhero. Perhaps he can, like The Thing from The Fantastic Four, stop a truck with his body or lift a fire truck but it's better not to check it. The yeah. cosplays of Marvel characters can sometimes be weirder than the characters themselves. Check out this Hulk created by young fans from Russia. There are two people in this suit, and their legs are tightly tied with duct tape. This monster can only move by jumping. Well, it looks like this Hulk that will be a great stupid. addition to the new Avengers team. They're like a cripple Hulk. This dude can't even fight nobody. You come over there and hit him, half of him gonna fall over. <laughs> Mr. Extreme Ever wondered why all people who want to become superheroes don't join their forces? Together, they could change this world for the better and protect other citizens from crime. Turns out that there is such an organization in California, and it's called the Extreme Justice League. The founder of this league is Mr. Extreme. He's been doing charity work and patrolling in San Diego since 2006. His hobbies include helping the homeless, guarding passers-by, reporting fights and crimes, and neutralizing criminals. Mr. Extreme's costume and skills have always helped him in superhero work. He wears an army helmet, yellow or green raincoat, body armor, boots, and protection. He also carries a stun gun, a baton, and a flashlight with him to be ready for a serious skirmish. Society still does not know who is hiding under the mask, though. From a Mr. Extreme, more like Mr. Silly Man. An interview with him, it becomes clear that he was bullied and beaten in his childhood, so he decided to become a real hero of the streets. He used to lead a crime watch, but then decided that it's much easier to help people people dressed in a bright suit. A whole team of superheroes quickly gathered around Mr. Extreme. Every evening, these guys patrol the streets of San Diego to maintain order. It's not Yo, are you serious? This is going on in San Diego. This is crazy. Exactly how many people are in it, but in case of danger, they'll definitely be able to fight back. Mr. Extreme himself announced his retirement from the league in 2020, but reassured the fans that he would continue to engage in social activities. Travis Scott. Did you know that rapper Travis Scott is also a superhero? No, he doesn't shoot laser beams and he can't fly, but take a look at this amazing Batman suit, which appeared on his Instagram page. Travis dressed up for Halloween and made a photo of himself in front of some expensive cars. Like the people, boat. however, did not appreciate the suit, and after the fans clowned it, the rapper had to delete the photo, and along with it, the rest of the photos in the account. Apparently, Travis didn't know that some people come up with even weirder ideas Ideas for Batman, like these guys, for example. The costumes, of course, are quite unusual, but it's unlikely that Bruce Wayne would wear this. After all, you still have to protect Gotham from crime while wearing it. Master Legend. 
Most of the real-life superheroes helping people appeared on the streets in 2011 to 2013, when the Avengers, Iron Man, and the Dark Knight movies became popular. However, there is a real hero who decided to put on a suit before it was cool. Master Legend is an Orlando resident who has been patrolling the city streets every day for 40 years. The Master felt the need to create an alter ego at the age of 16, and since then, he's devoted all of his free time to helping people on the streets, protecting children, and detaining offenders. During this time, Master has inspired hundreds of other comic book fans, including Mr. Extreme and Captain Mangano. To create his image, he uses a black skin-tight suit, over which he wears a painted football guard and a helmet. Of course, it's hard for ordinary people to catch criminals, fight real criminals, and protect people from violence, but at least they try. If there were more people like the Master on the streets, this world would probably be a much safer place. Man, look like a rock star. A fine cruddy. Fine cruddy. Fine. A fine. I, I said fine. A f crime fighting rock star. God, I can't put the words together correctly today. Anyway, y'all know what time it is. If you like this reaction, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, I'm laughing because I can't believe what I saw in this video. As always, the link to the original will be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy on the gram and Twitter at Artie Kicks. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. See ya.